you know, when it comes to OCD and OCD treatment or our lives with OCD as we like to call it, I think so many times it's easy to, to fall in the slumps and to feel like this is so terrible. Why would I want to live this life? Why would I want to fight my OCD? We all know that everyone can tell us, oh, there's great tools out there and there's all these great things, and there are, but those of us who have OCD understand how scary it is to use those tools. Doing an exposure isn't something that you go do and you feel better. It's something that you go do and you're terrified and you're full of fear and it makes you so much more scared because you're facing this reality of the fear in your thoughts. But in the long run, you're able to see success. And I always say, just get your first couple exposures out of the way because once you do your first five or 10 and you're able to see how the treatment works and what CBT can truly do, then it can motivate you to try some of your harder things and to work on things that get, cause you more anxiety and more fear, all things that you should do with a therapist. But as, as a sufferer, I think one of the most important things is motivation and having that external motivation and never losing sight of it. I, I can't give it to you, I can't tell you how to gain it, but I can tell you how I did and how I do. And for me, it's, it ties into those goals that we talked about earlier. My, my motivation is my long-term life goals, what I want to do with my life, who I want to be, the person I want to become. And with those, I'm able to say, you know what, I might have OCD in the way and it might make things a lot harder. But in the end, it might make things a lot better because if I was able to accomplish those things and live my life with my OCD or fight my OCD and all those different things combined, maybe in the long run that'll make those goals that much more worth it because I know that I did them with an with an added difficulty, with another obstacle attached. And, and for motivation for patients, I think that it's important for us to remember that we're so lucky that we have a disorder that has treatment and that there are available tools that we know work. It might seem like they're not working and it might seem like, what's the point? I put forth all this effort, but I still suffer so much every day. And I know, I, I feel that firsthand. There's days I wake up and I don't understand why I should do the exposures. I don't understand why I should fight my rituals because if I'm still gonna live with them and still always have these thoughts, sometimes it's easier to give in. But then I remember the day I went into the hospital and when I was 15 and I was scared and terrified and just a young girl who was totally hopeless and helpless with her life. And then I think about the day I left and I was Liz again. I could laugh, I could enjoy life, I could hang out with my friends, I could play sports and do those things that my OCD had robbed from me and had taken away. And that alone makes me remember it's worth the fight. It's worth the fight, not only for your family members and for all those people who can enjoy time with you again because you're able to enjoy your life and your OCD isn't controlling it, but it's worth it for you. It's worth it because you are going to be able to be yourself again and live your life. And we're so lucky that we're in a time where there's great tools and great treatment available. We've got kind of behavioral therapy. We've got a combination of that and medication and so many different things that you can work out with your psychologist and your psychiatrist to make your OCD work for you in the sense that the more work you put forth, the better your life's going to be. And it's hard sometimes to put forth the work and sure there's days you might and I might take a day off, but in the long run, I think we all know that if we continue to fight our OCD, we're continuing to fight for our own life.